the red GT5000 has all of its 5000 back. Wiring fixed. Muffler solid and still hot. Leg chopper. Less choppy. Sticker still missing. I don't know what model this is. Electric PTO. Miscellaneous parts and things to put it back together. One thing to note, this is supposed to be a 2004 tractor and I'm pretty sure it is because all the parts have 2004 moldings on them and what have you, but it has this old style rod set up for the front of the deck, the suspension for it. Even my 2003 has the newer plate that goes over here. It's one piece and it hooks up kind of the same. I don't get that. It also has the old style bars, this bar that goes across. Those belong on they belong on older tractors and I can't of all the series of tractors I was able to find model numbers on they all have different suspension pieces for this mower deck. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know why they're on here. It works but even the older machines of this um, 917257, I believe, series all have different pieces. And it just, I don't know why, it just bothers me. At first I was having problems, but I got it straightened out. And it just ended up being some pieces put together wrong from the other guy. So that's working now. It's running great now. Go for a spin. Second, well, fifth gear. Something useful that you might want to know, anybody who has one of these Kohler engines, especially these older ones, I don't know about the 25 horse that's supposed to be in it, but as I had mentioned in the previous video, the engine in this is a 20 horse from probably 98 or 99, and the model of tractor that would have been in didn't have specified for it a governed idle, and basically that, that would be the spring here. It keeps the engine speed up when you have it down at idle. So that's when your main uh, governor spring is not, doesn't have any tension on it, and it's just sitting at the lowest speed. Governor idle is very handy because a lot of times you want to use the slowest speed for whatever, and you don't want to have it revved up, or you're, maybe you're just bringing it out of a tight space or whatever, and you don't want to have to play with the throttle just for the thing to move and not stall. Put one of these on. This is only like $2. Get off the parts list and you'll have a steady idle and it, it won't you won't have to mess with the throttle and you know keep it from dying it's pretty good basically all it does is it keeps tension on the governor arm just a little bit of tension um, always at idle setting this is by far the most comfortable tractor I've ever driven that we've had you can tell this thing did not get much use. Everything's still really tight on it, and it doesn't really rattle or carry on when you drive. It's really smooth.